I know my days are coming to an end. I have lived a good life, and I am sure the Lord is proud of me. I learned to live and enjoy life when I set out on my one adventure a very long time ago. It was when the whole town of Salem had gone mad. I was accused of being a witch. Not only was I accused, but I was found guilty and sentenced to death. That was when my adventure began. That was when I began to live. As I sat in my prison waiting for my sentence to be served, I could not believe how the whole town had turned against me and I began wondering why I ever left England in the first place. Surely life was not so bad as what had happened to me here. It was a preposterous thought that I could turn into a blue boar at night. If I could do such a thing, that would have certainly been the ideal time, since I could hear the jailer rattling his keys outside the door. I stood up strong and noble, knowing that I would be led to my death. The door was flung open, and I heard his voice. I will never forget those words, the redeeming sound of his voice as my Thomas whispered. Mary, come, let's go. I have fattened the jailer's purse for your escape. Well, it may not sound like much to anyone else, but it sounded like the voice of an angel to me. His hand reached in and grabbed me, as he pulled me to freedom, he kissed me and whispered, Go, run east and avoid the road. I will meet you at Bradbury Crossroad. I did not question it. I ducked into the woods and ran. It was daylight before I arrived and I waited. When he showed up, he gave me the instructions. I was to go ahead and meet him at the Alchemy Tavern in New York. What a great adventure ensued. I had to cut my hair like a boy and wear the clothes of a man. At first I thought it was disgraceful, but then I realized that it was somehow for the greater good that I still had much to give this world, and I was eternally grateful to Thomas for his bravery and his love. I knew I would give him children to keep his name alive. I met a man that Thomas had bought a horse from for me, and soon afterwards, the horse was stolen. I walked until I met two freemen, of whom helped me find my way to the Alchemy Tavern. I am told many tales are spun in taverns, and a Puritan woman dressed as a Puritan man in the Alchemy Tavern is where my story really begins.